1529 forecast. Even warmer than average along the Blue Ridge Mountains today. Hello, I'm Storm Team 29 meteorologist Josh Fitzpatrick looking outside live from the top of Wintergreen, seeing a few cumulus clouds billow on up over the spine of the Blue Ridge. And so on the southwestern horizon from Charlottesville, you'll notice some of the growing clouds, but no rain from those clouds. And if you notice now that we're in the early part of October, starting to see some fall color, and we will likely start to see more in the way of the changing leaves over the next week or so. So over the next week, a week from say, the, during the weekend into next week, we will start to see some partial patchy color over central Virginia. More of that along the along the Blue Ridge, the Shenandoah Valley, and especially nearing peak for the middle part of October into the Allegheny Highlands. All right, now the next big thing I'm tracking from the Weather Center is going to be abnormally warm conditions for two more days, followed by a big time cool down just in time for the weekend, and that will help to change our fall foliage. Some of you by Sunday and next Monday mornings could be as cool as the 30s, especially across the Shenandoah Valley. In that first forecast for the rest of your Tuesday, sunshine, a few clouds, especially on that southwestern horizon, daytime highs nearly 10 degrees warmer than average for this time in October, and that means mostly in the low, if not mid 80s, pushing 80 for the Shenandoah Valley. And by the way, sunset now is at 654, and after sunset, we will drop through the 70s and the 60s. Right now, your midday numbers 79 in Charlottesville, 74 in Stanton. We're going to rise several more degrees over the next few hours. There are those high level clouds and puffy cumulus clouds from the Blue Ridge and into the southwestern portions of the Commonwealth into wild and wonderful West Virginia, but we have high pressure that's going to keep us high and dry for quite some time, blocking any storm system well to our west. In fact, the storm track is across the high plain states from Texas into the US Canadian border. That's where severe weather is likely from Texas all the way north into the land of 10,000 lakes of Minnesota. That's where the tornado risk is likely. Now, eventually that front is going to head eastbound, but it's going to really begin to weaken when it comes to rainfall. Not expecting severe weather here at home, but later Friday night and into the first half of Saturday, rain showers will be pretty common around the area, especially off to the west. Not expecting a widespread soaking rain, but hey, we'll take what rain we can get, right? We are abnormally dry, if not in moderate and severe drought over the area. So from Friday night through the first half of Saturday, at least some ground dampening showers are going to be likely, followed by that weekend cooling trend. Daytime highs will be only in the 60s and overnight lows in the 40s, but some 30s likely, especially for the Blue Ridge and into the Valley next Sunday and especially next Monday morning. Forecast for the rest of today, sunshine, a few clouds with the blue sky, upper 70s to the low and mid 80s. For tonight, starry sky, some patchy fog along the river drives with lows mostly in the 50s. Now your forecast on Wednesday, we're back in the upper 70s to the mid 80s, sunshiny and warm conditions. Here's your seven day planner. As we go into Wednesday and over the overnight hours with the cooling trend, yeah, ragweed will be high. In fact, we have high levels of ragweed until we get the first frost. 70s Thursday, Friday, sunshine and clouds. Rain showers more likely Friday night, the first half of Saturday, and then a drying and cooling trend. 60s by Sunday and Monday, and lows as cool as the 40s and the 30s, Jared.